Hey guys, Valentring here with Nondecor Duco in State 16, bringing you Day 4 of Global Ace Commander. This is one of my favorite days, I like to call it Training Day. This day is all about troop training, getting your troop might up and training units. So let's jump right into it. As I've been mentioning, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, um, this ties in with Alliance Showdown. A lot of the quests will match up with Global Ace Commander events. So for Global Ace Commander today, it is strictly training units. And you get points based upon the tier of unit that you will be training. As you can see, I'm up at tier 9 troops, T9 troops, and the points per unit is 85. Um, I train thousands of units at a time, so obviously I can get a lot of points. However, you do need to complete it 1.2 million uh, points based upon that those tier points that you get per tier unit. So you do need a lot of units, especially if you're lower in might or lower tier troops you're going to be training, so keep that in mind. And I do believe that this actually gets more difficult the further along the higher up your headquarters gets. I do know that newer players might only have to put up, say, you know, 800,000, 600,000 points to complete all phase sixes. However, you are still ranked based upon how well you're doing um, and your total rank across Global Ace Commander. As you can see, I've been waiting to do this event because I really wanted to show you this cool trick and this is what I've been talking about, why Alliance Showdown, there's absolutely no rush because as you can see, I was able to get this quest Troop Might Up. Getting Troop Might Up 600,000 points will allot me 120 points and there are other uh, quests in here for the same thing troop might up i need 1.2 million for only 113 points but as you can see the time this is where this can be done in one day whereas this has to be done in 12 hours and that's why the point value goes up even though the troop might number is less because they consider it more difficult to do this in a shorter period of time there's also a quest down here for train units. Uh, the demand is 300,000. You definitely want to be careful and make sure that you understand the distinction between troop might and the number of units. So for this one, it's training units that you need to train 300,000 units to be able to complete this quest. That's not very easy, as a matter of fact, um, and you do have one day to complete it. Whereas troop might is a little bit easier because each troop, uh, especially the higher tier ones, are gonna be worth more might. So this is a little bit easier of a quest, as you can tell by the point value. Always look at the point value. That's going to give you an indication of how difficult the quest is. The higher the points, the more difficult. For instance, this 80 point quest is only 60,000 building might up. You can do that with you know a couple of buildings in a very short period of time. Not a very difficult quest. And same with like heal units. Healing 120,000 units shouldn't take be too difficult. However, healing units is one of the more difficult quests uh, depending upon how you look at it. Training day again, troop might up. This is a great quest. I highly recommend it. And the best part is, is that we are going to triple up our rewards. As I've been mentioning, Break Loose does come out during the middle of Global Ace Commander. And it started last night. As you can see, I only have an hour left. But this is train units and training speed up. You get points for using your speed ups to train units and you get points for training your units. And the point value is the exact same for Global Ace Commander. So what does this mean? This means that I only need 937,500 points to complete break loose phase five. This it will guarantee me two Leah frags. So because I'm already planning on doing this event, because I'm doing it for Global Ace Commander, and because I'm doubling up for Alliance Showdown, perfect time to go ahead and do this within the time for Break Loose. I will automatically get two Leah frags as long as I complete these other quests. So that's perfect. Be able to triple up, do one task, and collect rewards for three different uh, events. That's awesome. If I end up ranking high, at least in the top 500, I'll get another bonus Leah frag. And anything higher than that will allot, um, if you're in the top 200, will allot two frags, so forth and so on. So you definitely want to rank high if possible, but predominantly, we're going to go ahead and complete this, I know, and get the two Leah frags. So this is a triple up event. And what's even better than that is 
because we're running Trials of Survival, another event, one of the quests for this happens to be unit training. As you can see, I haven't done any unit training yet. I've been waiting for these events to line up and I have four events lining up where I'll be able to maximize my rewards simply by doing one task that I plan on doing anyways. I've saved for it and I'm gonna show you the tricks to training right now. So actually, like I said, I'll be able to capitalize on four different events, make sure I'm getting the rewards for all four. This is gonna be huge. So some of the tricks and tips for training units, um, you definitely wanna make sure that if you, if at all possible, you're VIP level 10, you wanna be in your balance set because the balance talent memories are all about training. Your training cap is up, my training speed is up. Um, and everything else defense wise but this talent right here cost reduction this is huge because this is going to allow me to save resources while i'm doing a very fast training to get um, the points i need to finish all four events as you can see training cap up so make sure that you are if at all possible vip level 10 set your talents correctly to balance and we're halfway there ready to go the cost reduction does last for one hour so the other thing you can notice here is i do have some troops that i started training last night i didn't finish them i didn't speed them up as you can see fighters uh, i are ready to go and then everything else has been working has been cooking I'm about halfway through so this means i saved nine hours of speed ups on all of my troops so that if you calculate that each you know, camp saved nine hours of speed ups. Just these three camps alone, I saved 27 hours of speed ups by setting this up last night, uh, training the maximum number of troops I could, and then go ahead and doing that. So the only other thing I can recommend is before we set to balance, let's go ahead, go back to economy, our VIP talents, and oh, I already used it, but there is what's called the fast producer. You can use that to build, build up your resources really quick right before you go into this event. I'm not gonna have time to wait for that. That's okay. Go back into my balance set, make sure that that's set up correctly, and then let's go into the other boost that we're gonna use. So we're gonna go into our bag and we're going to go into speed up. As you can see, I have a 30% training speed up and you, if you're doing most of your events, you're gonna get these without even thinking about it. I don't even know where I get them from. That's, I don't have to worry about it so much. But as I get these training speed ups, I save them and then on training day for Global Ace Commander, day four, that's when I use it. Hopefully I'm able to use it with Alliance Showdown and some break loose and some of these other events. So like I said, four events, one task, training day, love this day. So let's go ahead, we're gonna hit our training speed up and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna hit cost reduction. Perfect, both of these are set. Now I have one hour to train as many troops as possible. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna start collecting everything and utilizing these training speed ups. If you don't have enough training speed ups, um, you can get them in Hero Duel Survival, the exchange shop. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend 10,000 on training speed ups. It's only 35 hours, but totally worth it that's going to help me out a lot and then i'm going to go into ruins and in exchange and i'm going to get my 99 uh, 60 minute speed ups this is why i saved those coins i just got 135 hours of speed ups and i'll be able to do hopefully as many troops as necessary because i'm doing this in conjunction with alliance showdown alliance showdown the quest for it is listed right here in your menu on the left and that'll show when it turns from blue to purple is when you've completed it. So we do wanna pay attention to that. And we're gonna go ahead and train these units as quickly as possible. So I'm just gonna use my speed ups. I can use auto speed up and this, as it says, selects the most preferable speed ups items. I'm gonna hit okay and don't show it again. And then it went ahead and did it. I am gonna use some gems just to make it a little bit faster and also save some of those uh, speed up resources. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but it can be helpful. And I'm gonna go down all my units. Now, like I said, when I was setting up, I did want to use 
uh, even vehicles and train them but when I'm actually ready I don't necessarily want to train vehicles I'm gonna go ahead and look in my parade ground and see what I'm lacking I have my fighters over 200,000 my shooters are close riders I'm pretty low on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna train shooters once or twice just to get them over to that 200,000 mark I'm gonna go ahead and hit that lock button on max troops so that I can train as many as possible as quickly as possible and then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit speed up alright and then auto speed up is the quickest way to do it and then as you can see here I'll just go ahead and use that five minute and get rid of that so let's do this again I'm gonna go through this as quickly as possible just train your T9 units uh, for the might one now if we were doing the ones for the number of units I wouldn't be training tier 9 because the cost the resource costs would be so great that I don't want to waste 300,000 tier 9 troops unless I just have plenty of resources lying around what I would actually do is train 300,000 tier 1 troops save the resource costs as you can see it only costs 53.8 uh, thousand food to train 1500 units so I would train 300,000 of these guys and then just level them up later you can always tier them up by promoting them up here and that'll take it from level one to your max level with the difference of the resource cost but at any rate I want to check my parade grounds again okay one more time and I'll have uh, my shooters over 200,000 so now you can see I have to start digging into my bag. It is resource costly. So you definitely want to make sure you have plenty of resources on hand to do this. Make sure that you are going to have enough resources to uh, complete the quest that you want. And then you can see here I can check it and I'm almost completed my troop might up already. For break loose we can come in here and normally I wouldn't check this stuff too often but as you can see I've already completed phase 5 of break loose. So now it's all about global ace commander. As you can see I'm 73% and we're 30 seconds in. In addition the trials of survival I've probably already completed this train unit. I've completed all of the all of the phases for this and it took me 30 seconds I haven't even been trying this very long so let's go ahead we're gonna do this one more time auto use we I want those shooters up over that number speed up auto speed up and oh, that was a waste but that's okay and then I'm gonna jump into my riders so now even though I've technically completed all these except for Alliance Showdown which I will complete soon and then I'll show you the trick for that I'm trying to maximize my points for Global Ace Commander so I still want to rank as high as possible I save a lot of resources just to be able to do this training day as quickly as possible so five minutes left let's use a five minute speed up and then let's check our Alliance Showdown as you can see it turned purple I'm gonna go ahead and click it there and then I finished it so I'm gonna hit complete now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I can pick another one troop might up 1.2 million or train units for 300,000 so this is what I was talking about there is a difference and what I'm gonna do is I am gonna accept this quest because it's worth 138 points and I'm already doing it anyways but I'm gonna switch to training tier one troops because I have to train a, a 300,000 of them so this is going to save my resources I'm going to train the 1500 plus it's only going to take me two hours go ahead and auto speed up that and then you'll see two minutes left I'll go ahead and use diamonds so if I come back in here check my um, Alliance showdown you'll see the difference instead of might up it is the number of units I only trained 1560 units and I, for, uh, I need 300,000 so obviously I'm going to need a lot of these and I'll probably skip showing you all of that but needless to say I'm going to go as quickly as possible and just get those 300,000 troops so as you guys can see um, 
I'm almost finished the quest. I almost got 300,000 units. Very difficult uh, challenge to do. I actually don't necessarily recommend it unless uh, you just aren't able to get your might up um, and do one of those quests and the troop might up. Instead, uh, you can do the units. 300,000 units does take some time. I've been working on it for probably half an hour already. But one thing, once you get close and you still have uh, speed ups and resources, then instead you can switch to promoting um, to be able to actually get you know it still hit that number but instead of wasting it on just uh, the tier one troops you can go ahead and utilize promotion to go ahead and finish out your quest um, only do this obviously if you have the resources because it is re resource intensive to promote um, it, not only speed ups but also your resources in general so go ahead and as you can see I'm about finished with the quest I'm going to go ahead and I think one or two more times and I'll have it finished. Uh, let's go ahead and promote some riders. Um, obviously the promotion is just you hit the tier troop and then you can hit this up arrow and you'll be able to do that. And this will give you more points for GAC, for Global Ace Commander, um, and you're still being able to complete that uh, the quest for Alliance Showdown. So as you can see, this is definitely an important uh, trick that you can utilize to get up there complete um, all of your quests, all of your tasks in multiple events and utilizing the same resources for all of those events. And I even did a double training um, quest just to kind of show this, but this should finish it off. And as you can see, I finally completed it. I'll go ahead and accept it. And as you'll see in here, Global Ace Commander, I racked up almost 3.3 million points. Um, for just this phase and it took uh, just under an hour I was able to utilize my boosts and I uh, use my training speed up as you can see here the 30% training speed up as well as the cost reduction it took almost a full hour to do it but I was still able to utilize those boosts and get the maximum benefit so that's everything guys I just want to show you that um, for Global Ace Commander day four training day uh, mixed in with Alliance Showdown as well as Break Loose and the Trials event four events one task one hour maximize my rewards thanks guys give the video a thumbs up if it helped you out and definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos like this mm -hmm.